What's up guys? It's Jazz here. But you don't really care as we are playing a Sonic 3D game. We have actually already played the original Sonic the Hedgehog uh, from 1991 in 2D, but we're moving on. Look around, the train's packed with exhausted people. But look at me, I'm full of energy. Cool. Um... I don't really know what else to say to that. It is interesting though, talking to the characters, and I'm going to do it quite a lot through this level. Excellent. Okay, hard work, what am I doing? Oh, a customer. I'm sorry, Station Square Center. Or Central. This train's heading to Mystic Ruins. I do quite like the characters around here. There is some stories to be told, and I will be listening to them, because it's something Let's Players don't generally do. Also, Sonic now is going apparently in a random order on this channel. Um, this is part of a game, like... If you were to categorize games, this would be part of the Dreamcast era, which is um, what we're jumping into. Before we had the Sega Genesis version, which had the original Sonic, now we're going into Sega Dreamcast because I feel like people will enjoy this more. It's a game I'm a lot more versed in, as opposed to the originals, because what do you know, I was minus five when Sonic came out, so I don't have a lot of experience there. We're the exploration party searching for the ruins. I'm still new here, so they don't let me go very far. Oh. Well, that's a shame. But maybe you'll see more of the ruins in the future. Who knows? Um, I'm gonna shoot off this hint just to show it off. workshop should be around here somewhere. So we're looking for Tails' workshop. We will go there in a moment. First, what do you have to say? When I woke up, the mountain was there already. I don't think it has sprung out of the ground. So it must have fallen from the sky. I know, that sounds crazy. Fallen from the sky, you say? A mountain? Well, I can't see it from this angle, unless you mean that little thing. Ah, interesting. Anyway, what we need to go is up, whoops, up the stairs here. I'm going to take a peek, see if we can see any characters early, because a cutscene will activate when we're on this level here. Anything going on? Uh, ooh, Q&E, move the camera, that's weird. Nope, all right, let's go. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! Look, it's a giant talking egg. Simon. I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest scientific genius in the world! Whatever you say, Eggman! Enough! I've got big plans! And now, I'm gonna put them to work! You're always up to no good. Now what do you want? I want all of the Chaos Emeralds! Better not interfere! Or else! Or else what, you big loser? Or else I'll take them from you by force! The hard way. Is force not the hard way, or are you calling force the hard way? Either way, this is the first time that Dr. Robotnik gets called Dr. Eggman, or just Eggman. From here it clicks, and, well, everything else is history. It's time for the boss battle against the Egg Hornet. So, the way this works is, there's a lot of room in this. He flies about, he will shoot rockets at you, they're not very good at hitting you, and then, eventually, he will say the big old line. He dives at you, gets stuck, and you can homing attack onto him. Homing attack is by jumping and jumping again. You can actually mash the homing attack at to him, into him, and you can defeat him in one single go. But I like spreading these things out, like breaking the game. It's fun and all, but... If it makes it too quick, then it's just not fun. I want to have to fight a full battle, you know? Now on top of that, when you do defeat him, it only takes three hits. You can make it so that you die at the same time and the mission will still continue. It's very odd, but it's a thing that happens. The whole boss battle takes place on this island and you cannot fall off, thankfully. There are a bunch of invisible walls protecting you. Full power! Full power! Anyway, that is the egg hornet done. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Now this next cutscene is especially jarring. The most amazing breaking down and falling scene ever. Take it with a massive grain of salt. Well, that wasn't so hard. Aha! Oh no! Come on, Chaos! Time to eat! 
chaos? Oh no, isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? I must say the well, there's no sound now. There it is. Uh, the voice actor of this Eggman is actually my favourite. Um, as much as I love the current Richard Pollock, who's stuck around, I think that's how you say his name. Um, I'm afraid he's not my thing. I just love the way that this Eggman goes full power. Uh, well, that's not quite how he does. And in future games as well, he also keeps that sort of like growliness to him, and I really like it. Maybe it's a nostalgia thing. It is a nostalgia thing, but oh well. Um, love you, Richie. I really hope your name's Richie. Um, anyway. That stone is something we will need for the next um, level, the one just outside the house. But there is another grabbable emblem. To get there, we need to be on top of Tails' house. I'm not very good at this. Um, I can't jump on that gate here, so I think I have to... Whoa! Well, I'm down here now. Um, spin and jump is what I was going to say. Um, guy, what do you have to say? Guy? I found a strange stone on top of the hill. I was going to leave it there until I could tell the leader. Yes, yeah, so all of these characters, they do have their own little stories, like these guys are all searching for the secret ruins. But at the same time, they give you hints. They're like, if you don't know what to do, talk to people. Don't just walk around and be like, there's nothing to do. If you're locked in a room with no doors and no windows, but you've got a guy with a massive neon sign, talk to the guy, or at least look at the guy with the massive neon sign, you know? Anyway. Here we go, spin and jump. It's a bit weird and broken, but from here at the top, you can see an emblem on the cliff way over there. Um, let's see if I can actually access this. Uh, this looks like a nice hill to do it from. Ooh, uh, that jump. So I think it's because I jumped in midair, so I lost it. Um, hold on. Uh, nope. Oh, this is a bit finicky. Um, Dreamcast games and just Sega games in general, uh, well, Sega Sonic games, Sonic Sega games are quite Jubilee, especially in the 90s. So I'm afraid. Oh, damn it. You're going to have to just bear with me. Um, jumping or not jumping didn't really help me there. Oh. So. This is going to get some getting used to. But this is Tails' workshop. Um, who knows what projects Tails is working on inside, but he's got a massive grinder thing in there and like a whole runway. So that's cool. Uh, that didn't work. That's a shame. Uh. Can I roll up here? Oh, that was close. Okay, not quite, but we're there. We're getting there at least. Um, good stuff. At least I'm getting good. Well, I was gonna say at least I'm getting good on getting on Tails' house, but it's not happening anymore. Wah! Yeah, there we go. Now I would assume the reason we don't see Tails with us all the time, even though he appears in cutscenes, is the limitations of the Dreamcast. Plus, he wouldn't really do much other than just follow us, and his AI would be really weird, you know. So it kind of makes sense. Um, I'm just going to keep on trying with this because I'm determined, there we go, to get all of the emblems. So you can get three from each mission, you get some around, um, like, um, areas, and then there'll be more from missions and bonus stuff we can do. I'm hoping to do a full, this windstone, it looks like a key, the design must mean something. I'm hoping that we can do a full 130 emblems run. Um, Shouldn't be too bored, ring, but listen, if it is, this is why I've got the other Let's Play going on. Tails Workshop should be around here oh, somewhere. I would have thought that um, hint would have given us more. It's given us sort of an outdated one, or at least it's telling us to go to the workshop to get this thing. 
But yes, it should hopefully be a hundred percent. We shall see how it goes. I saw this weird plate in the cave, and scrawled on it in ancient writing was the word wind. I bet it's a clue to something. I'm sure it is. Let's grab the wind stone and put it into the wind panel. So you don't have to worry about being specific. He is floating. Because it'll click in anyway. The wind pushes up, and that takes us to our next level. Windy Valley. Get the Chaos Emerald. We're no longer after Tails. Generally, Sonic's story is to find and or get the thing at the end of a level, which is nice and easy. Also, I love these homing attack paths. It's nice and easy. Just keep mashing. Hey! Alright, so this is the second mission. Windy Valley. I can't remember how I started this mission thing. Oh, well. Um... I don't like homing things anymore. I've already lost the rings. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Careful. Okay. Apparently that wasn't right either. For some reason. Oh, I think it's because I missed the capsule? With the shield, shield in it? I think that might have been it. Okay, hold on. Fast, fast, fast. Ah, I should probably slow down actually, otherwise that's going to ruin me. Oh, okay. There we go. Slow and steady. Patience is my enemy in Sonic. It's very ironic, but it, it makes sense, sort of. What do you say? The wind is making an invisible path. Don't be afraid. Go through the gate. All right. A very odd mechanic. The wind is invisible, but it helps you out a bunch for some reason. Whee! Also, that water down there. Is that water? I think that is supposed to be water. It looks awfully, awfully, awfully 2D. But hey, it's the Sega Dreamcast. This, this wind, this weather is getting worse and worse. Oh God! It's a tornado, and not the plane type. Bye, Tails. Just fly in there. So this is the second Head point. Straight up, you should be able to get out of a tornado. There is a whole bunch of trivia about all the music and what these are references to. I think like this might be Sonic Jump on panel 3D. Number one. It will take uh, we have seen this before. Three. This dialogue. Jump as soon as you land oh, on damn it. Panel Shush, fairy. Down. Shush. Um, I don't actually have my trivia notes right now, but I will probably put it up on screen because it's kind of important. Every level is quite short and quick. I'd like to tell you all the information I can as I go. Here we are. This is the tornado phase anyway. This is phase two. And we're done. Time for phase three. Did you know there was a massive long railway thing at the top of the sky? It's like monkey and super monkey ball or something. I want to kill you. I messed up. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess it's back to the tornado. Also, I keep changing like my lines in this commentary so quick that it's like I'm actually voice acting the actual... Like I'm voice acting the same as in the game where it's very discombobulated. Oh well. Um, I am stuck on something there. Break. Break. Excuse me? Am I doing something wrong? Do I need speed shoes or something? No. I don't defeat the enemies to get... Why can't I get through? There we... There we go. Okay, so spin boosting. Speed dashing. Spin dashing. Doesn't work. But... Just jumping at it does. Okay. Whatever. Right, let's run through here. Now, something I do like that I probably shouldn't... I don't know if it's any good. Is the super fast run cycle of Sonic. Like, he doesn't move much. But I just really like the effect. Like, obviously it's not the, my favourite. But, like, I don't know. Like, that. It's just, like, his feet moving up and down. I really like it. Also, something I've realised it is going to be an extra challenge is... I'm playing this on the PC right now. Um, hopefully, maybe later on in the... Uh, the series I'll have my Xbox controller which will be a lot more smoother because WASD and the aero controls don't go diagonal really or at least they don't really have a really solid way of moving the controllers that you would have supposed to be playing this on has like a full-on control stick which would have been a whole lot better to control this thing with so like these corners they're gonna be a little tricky for me that's weird that they put me in front of that checkpoint but hey game design was not the best oh well but like look you can see I'm sort of like jagged because I'm just pressing very solid buttons oh well um, hopefully also I'll just get better at this game I'm feeling pretty con like used to this game now anyway so things are good I'm pretty sure things seem pretty good to me so let's go as we run way fast also Tails has decided to join us hi Tails oh, 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 hey. and here is our Chaos Emerald a bit yes. bigger than I remember it Not bad. And that's our fourth emblem. 
The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Well then, let's get on over to it. At this point, I can admit the game is a little obscure. It doesn't always tell you exactly what you're doing next. But you always have fairies that you can go to if you need to. But well, we're going to do that next episode. As I very slowly walk nowhere, I'm going to end it off here. For now, my name's been Daz. You've been really care, and I'll see you in a bit.